Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both fascinating and crucial for understanding healthcare. Opportunistic infections. Before proceeding further, if you wish to go through the microbiology-related products, please refer the link in the description. So, what are opportunistic infections? Opportunistic infections are illnesses caused by germs or microbes that typically don't harm healthy people. However, they can become a problem when someone's immune system is weakened, making it easier for these germs to cause sickness. So, opportunistic infections are illnesses caused by germs that take advantage of a weakened immune system to make someone sick. What are the causes of opportunistic infections? Opportunistic infections are caused by various germs, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. These pathogens typically don't cause illness in healthy individuals but can become problematic when the immune system is weakened due to factors such as HIV, AIDS. The human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, attacks the immune system, making it harder for the body to fight off infections. Chemotherapy. Cancer treatments like chemotherapy can suppress the immune system, leaving the body vulnerable to infections. Organ transplantation. Patients who receive organ transplants often take medications to suppress their immune system, which increases their risk of opportunistic infections. Autoimmune diseases. Conditions where the immune system attacks the body's own tissues, such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, can require immunosuppressive medications, raising the risk of infections. Age. Elderly individuals and infants may have weaker immune systems, making them more susceptible to opportunistic infections. Malnutrition. Poor nutrition can weaken the immune system, making individuals more prone to infections. Chronic diseases. Conditions like diabetes or chronic kidney disease can weaken the immune system, increasing the risk of opportunistic infections. Lifestyle factors. Smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, and stress can weaken the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections. Some examples of opportunistic infections. 1. Pneumocystis pneumonia, PCP, a fungal infection of the lungs, often seen in individuals with weakened immune systems, such as those with HIV, AIDS. 2. Candidiasis. A fungal infection caused by candida yeast, which can affect the mouth, oral thrush, throat, genitals, and skin, especially in individuals with compromised immunity. 3. Tuberculosis, TB. A bacterial infection primarily affecting the lungs, but it can also spread to other parts of the body. TB becomes more severe in people with weakened immune systems. 4. Cytomegalovirus, CMV. Infection. A viral infection that can cause various symptoms, including fever, fatigue, and organ damage, particularly in individuals with suppressed immune function, such as transplant recipients or those with HIV, AIDS. 5. Toxoplasmosis. A parasitic infection caused by the Toxoplasma gondii parasite, commonly found in contaminated food or water. It can lead to severe complications, especially in people with weakened immune systems. 6. Aspergillosis. A fungal infection caused by Aspergillus species, often affecting the lungs and causing respiratory symptoms. It is more common in individuals with weakened immune systems or underlying lung conditions. 7. Cryptococcal meningitis. A fungal infection that affects the membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord, typically seen in individuals with HIV, AIDS or other conditions causing immune suppression. 8. Herpes simplex virus, HSV. Infection. A viral infection causing cold sores or genital herpes, which can become more severe and frequent in individuals with compromised immune function. These are just a few examples of opportunistic infections, but there are many others that can affect individuals with weakened immune systems. Prompt diagnosis and appropriate treatment are essential for managing these infections effectively. How to prevent opportunistic infections? Practice good hygiene. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water, especially before eating, after using the bathroom, and after being in public places. Stay up to date with vaccinations. Vaccines can protect against many infectious diseases. It's important to stay current with recommended vaccinations, including flu shots and vaccines for pneumonia and other preventable diseases. Take prophylactic medications. In some cases, healthcare providers may prescribe prophylactic medications to prevent specific opportunistic infections in high-risk individuals. Maintain a healthy lifestyle. Eat a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins to support your immune system. Exercise regularly, get enough sleep, and manage stress effectively. Avoid exposure to infections. 
limit contact with individuals who are sick, and avoid crowded or poorly ventilated spaces, particularly during flu season or outbreaks of contagious illnesses. Practice safe sex. Use condoms to protect against sexually transmitted infections STIs, which can increase the risk of opportunistic infections, especially in individuals with HIV, AIDS. Follow medical advice. If you have a medical condition that weakens your immune system, such as HIV, AIDS, cancer, or autoimmune diseases, it's crucial to follow your healthcare provider's recommendations for treatment and monitoring. Avoid smoking and limit alcohol consumption. Smoking and excessive alcohol intake can weaken the immune system, making you more susceptible to infections. If you smoke, consider quitting, and if you drink alcohol, do so in moderation. Maintain a clean environment. Keep your living spaces clean and well ventilated to reduce the risk of exposure to harmful germs and allergens. Conclusion. Early detection and management of opportunistic infections are vital for successful treatment. If you notice any unusual symptoms, such as persistent fever, cough, or unexplained weight loss, it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay curious.